Hello and welcome to today's episode of Unsolicited Opinion. Today we'll be talking about cookery. Cookery or culinary arts, as a big would call it, it's a form of aesthetics of expression of arts that transcends into the organization of spices and ingredients laid out to produce a marvelously prepared meal that usually tastes wonderful, but some people miss the point, they might taste nasty. However, today what we'll be talking about is how people come about with menus. You know, some people say they can't cook because they only think of a conventional way of cooking. No, nobody has a conventional way of cooking. There are conventional ways of cooking that actually people put in their touch to bring out an exceptional dish, a dish that belongs to them and has their taste, their touch and their style. You know, when I hear some people say, I can't cook, I can't cook, you don't need to learn how to cook. Just see what somebody's capable of doing or what somebody can do and you can imitate it. You can put it in your own way and you bring out a wonderful dish. All dishes that look good do not taste good and all dishes that taste good do not look good. But now, if you take your passion or the will, not even passion, you just need to have that will to be able to determine yourself to preparing a meal for yourself you know most often than not some of us who would know how to cook we do not learn it from anybody so there are some dishes we invented them in our own way and then maybe we found out that this is the actual way of doing it and yet our own way of doing it tastes better than the actual way you know when you hear Americans say oh steak what is steak pepper and salt no for us Africans when you say steak there is pepper salt ginger garlic some green spices curry powder in fact there are so many things you can put to prepare that very steak white man will call it their own way but now how do you make it your own by being able to think out of the box being able to combine spices don't only wait for somebody to come to your house or for somebody to tell you they are coming or for an event to come up for you to be able to see if you can cook or not do it for yourself i usually those who know me know when I'm in some kind of pain or difficulty, I treat myself with good food. Take it upon yourself to do sin for you. Make it your once in a while. It's not something for every day. Once in a while, just take some time. Make some good food that tastes just the way you want it to be. At times you even see you cook something and then you are like, whoa, I never expected this to be out this way. But now here we are. And if you think you are going to make a mistake, it never hurts to ask someone who knows how to do it, like, okay, if I was to do this, what can I do? It, it's never a, a disgrace or a shameful thing to learn from somebody. I am in a hotel and there are some dishes that some people I thought were cooks greater than me learned from me. And there are some that I learned from them. Every day we learn. We learn every day and never make a mistake not to learn particularly how to give your stomach, your mouth and your saliva some good taste of its own. I'm even salivating when I think of the kind of things I could make for myself. You know, it is very important. Never give up. Never give up. Nobody knows how to cook everything and not everything is available for everybody to cook. So if you can know how to cook one, who cares? Cook it for yourself. Make out time when you're doing it. Make sure you do it to taste the best way ever however my unsolicited opinion is that never underestimate what you are capable of doing even frying eggs simple eggs some people will call it scrambled egg toasted egg whatever some people just know how to do that do it whenever you have the opportunity and nobody should make you feel like you don't deserve to know only that do it have time to do your thing your own way ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching i pray that after this most of us are going to go into experimenting some wonderful delicious dishes that we have never done before i bake not because i've gone to a bakery school but because i experimented on my own there are times a lot of times i've failed and when i fail i'm vigilant next time about what caused my failure or I try, there is youtube go to youtube come here every day find out how to bake or cook or do certain things but then the idea you get from me is just a general idea meanwhile you have to prepare yourself to get specifics of how you can get it because there are some spices you will hear they will call them which are not available here or they call them differently that way and we call them differently here so all you need to do is just be patient make sure you get the best out of it and enjoy yourself in the kitchen however thanks for watching stay connected comment in my youtube section and you know what it's a wrap up for me bye bye